But uh, we're presented with things on television, and to the average person, everything is separate. You know, the, the financial crash is separate. It's nothing to do with anything else, even though uh, all the big boys themselves have said in the newspapers that this could actually help us bring in the IMF to its proper status as the, the big distributor of currency and handler of currency across the whole planet. Everything's done for a purpose at the right time. And they could pull the plug any time they want on anything, anything at all. And it was set up that way. They've never changed the system so they can always do it again over and over and over. I've said that since uh, I've been on the air. They never ever changed that system because they want to use it over and over and over again. It's great to plunder the public every few years and rob them of, of You allow them to accumulate, then you rob them. That's what you do. And this has gone on forever, really. But even the presentation by Michael Moore is on every... I only get about three TV stations with my rabbit ears up here in Ontario. And um, this massive uh, expose on him. Uh, as the, you know, the man who speaks for the masses, for the proletariat. And there he is, you know, it's all waddling around, um, following his script, obviously. And everything is say, it ties in the environment and, and work. And all, all, all on board with this whole agenda. We need a new system altogether, he says. We need a new system. And most folk, folk think, again, he's just an individual activist. But who runs him? Who runs this man? And it was, it was uh, said recently uh, who his agent was in Hollywood, who does all this stuff for him. His agent is Ari Emanuel. And Ari Emanuel, it says here, born March 29, 61, Chicago. He's a prominent American talent agent, they call it. That's a very polite way of saying something else. Founder of the Endeavor Agency in Beverly Hills, California, as well as co-CEO of William Morris Endeavor Entertainment, which turns over 275 to $300 million. Here it presents Martin Scorsese, Jennifer Gardner, Jessica Alba, Larry David, Michael Moore, Jude Law, Matt Damon, Sisha Barron, and Cohen O'Brien, Mark Wahlberg, and others, and so on. And it says here, Raised in suburban Wilmette, Illinois, outside Chicago, Emanuel is the brother of White House Chief of Staff, Ram Emanuel. Oh, 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 what coincidence. I'm shocked. So he's the brother of the White House cha uh, Staff, uh, Ram Emanuel. This is the an NIH bioethicist, Ezekiel J. Emanuel, and adopted sister, Shoshana Emanuel. His father, the Jerusalem-born Dr. Benjamin M. Emanuel, is a pediatrician who was active in the air gun which is Hebrew for an organization of Israeli freedom fighters. His mother, Marsha Emanuel, uh, her name is Smilovitz, was a civil rights activist in the U.S. and the one-time owner of a Chicago-area rock and roll club. They were on about being hyperactive and dyslectic and so on when he was young. She took him to train him in anti-war protests. He's a graduate of New Trier West High School, Manchester College in Minnesota, married to Sarah Addington three sons. Professional career. Now, he graduated from, from the college in 1983, played professional racquetball for a while, uh, lived in Paris, New York City, then worked at Hollywood agencies and creative arts agency. And, and what he did with, with a few guys there, they robbed the place in the middle of the night and they were arrested for it. And with these guys, these fellow robbers, this organized criminal bunch, he went on to co-found Endeavor Talent Agency with his fellow late night vigilantes. He's the guy who started the, this particular guy. He started the, uh, uh, the campaign against uh, Mel Gibson. Uh, and it says here, he's, he stood up and says, um, he says, people in the entertainment community, whether Jew or gentle, need to demonstrate that they understand how much is at stake in this profession by professionally shunning Mel Gibson and refusing to work with him even if it means a sacrifice to their bottom line. I'm sure he'd sacrifice his cash, right? In 2007, Emmanuel publicly backed Chris Albrecht after Albrecht was fired from HBO for domestic violence arrest preceded by rumors of three other incidents of violence against women. Emmanuel wrote, if Hollywood is going to give Mel Gibson a second chance and sports fans are going to cheer up stars like uh, Jason Kidd, Latrell Spewell, and Stephen Jackson, who made similar mistakes, why not Chris Albrecht? So he wants everybody to forgive Albrecht. Maybe that's something in common. Emmanuel later helped Albrecht land his next job at IMG. 
And he says, Ari Emanuel has hosted fundraisers for the Democratic Party. Then he goes on about another massive court uh, case that happened with Sandra, Sandra Epstein against the agency brought accusations by Epstein and other Endeavour employees against Emmanuel. In the court finals, Emma, uh, fin- filings, Emmanuel is alleged to have allowed a friend, a friend of course, to operate a pornographic website out of Endeavour's offices. According to Epstein, Emmanuel made racist and anti-gay remarks and prevented her from sending a script about Navy SEALs to actor Wesley Snipes saying... This is what Ari said. This great humanitarian that stands up for everyone's rights except certain people. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He says, everyone knows that blacks don't swim. This is the guy. This is the guy, the brother of the the same Emmanuel that's in the White House today. Hmm. Back with more after this break. I am Alan Watt. And we're cutting through the Matrix. Just finishing up there with uh, Michael Moore's agent. Another hypocrite. Uh, and uh, he's a man this is Emmanuel Ari Emmanuel who has a brother in the White House at this time or with all the other guys in the White House who are all uh, people think that they're just uh, left wing it's further beyond left wing there's much much more to it they all know each other they all have an agenda and uh, this is the guy who manages Michael Moore that people think just come out on, on his own to do you know to be the voice of the proletariat you know that's standard spiel to give but it's always a different agenda and it just falls on board with uh, uh, the present world agenda and you, don't, you don't want to let him eat and once he eats you can take his picture do you like your phone ringing when you're eating dinner oh, I'm not calling it in reality Mr. Moore had just completed his photo op for just a few minutes marching at the head of the parade with other genuine establishment libs like Jesse Jackson. Then he ducked into the taco bar, had the general public thrown out, and began, well, gobbling. And I wonder what he was thinking while he was eating. Man, are they going to catch on to me? As the hours went by, are they going to find out that I'm really a fake and a corporate shill that flies around in a corporate jet? All those years I chased the corporate bigwigs around and was thrown out of office buildings and stood outside restaurants. And now I've become what I always said I hated. Or maybe I was always what I claimed I hated. 